So today we're going to talk about viral hepatitis and um, talking about viral hepatitis we have five types. They're very easy to remember. They're five, the five first letters in the alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D and E. Alright, uh, now we're going to mention some important points about each one of them to remember and then we're going to talk about the serology of uh, hepatitis B. So what kind of um, markers, antigens, antibodies that we use uh, in order to um, assess the state of the patient. So let's start with uh, hepatitis A and hepatitis E. Both of them are uh, enveloped and they are transmitted through the fecal oral route. While B, C and D on the other hand they are naked viruses and they are transmitted uh, parenterally so through uh, injections and vertically through pregnancy all right now another thing mortality rates um, mortality rates for a b and c are low for example for A is less than 0.5%, for B is around 1-2%, to for C is around 0.5-1%, to for D and E mortality rates are high. For E in a specific case that we're going to mention in a bit. So normally mortality rates for E are okay, but in case of pregnancy, because pregnancy is a case of general immunodepression in the mother because she's trying not to reject the fetus, um, mortality rates in that case, if virus E is uh, there, is around 20%, which is high. All right, another important thing, for example, about virus D. Virus D um, happens always to be a co-infection along with hepatitis B. So it's a co-infection. Why? Because there is a defect in the surface antigen of this virus, an effect in the surface antigen of hepatitis virus D. So if it exists alone it will not do the job. It has another virus to correct that defect and if virus B is present virus D will uh, act and in that case mortality rates are also pretty high. Alright, another thing um, which is um, the tendency to turn chronic. So we have an acute viral infection and a chronic uh, viral infection for hepatitis. For virus B, A is acute. For virus B, uh, most of the uh, most of the cases are found in infants. So it acts in infants around 90% of the cases are in infants and from those cases about 5 to 10 percent turn chronic so 5 to 10 percent of the 90 percent of infected infants would turn chronic the other 10 percent of cases are found in adults and hepatitis B in adults is not that big of a deal on the other hand, C, you can make a correlation C, chronic, 
hepatitis C in the other hand uh, has a higher tendency to turn chronic um, so we have 80% of the cases turning uh, chronic also for virus D and E due to the um, aggression of the virus uh, we would have something which is called fulminant hepatitis fulminant hepatitis is uh, acute liver uh, disease w with a very very um, fast loss of liver functions and uh, you would have a general liver failure um, it's a um, very aggressive to the liver and also it's worth mentioning that B and C have the tendency to transform into a primary hepatocellular carcinoma primary pedicillary carcinoma